YouTube, what's good? I'm back again with another video, and today I present to you the Sony GTK XB90, and today we're gonna to talk about the sound and the sound only. I might talk about a few other things, but I'm not here to get into all the different um, different features and all the like, you know what I mean, little, little things that, that attracted to other purchasers, like the battery light, like, I mean, not, not battery light, like, but the uh, lights and waterproof and all these other things that, that people are concerned with. Um, the first thing I will talk about is the battery life, which turns out to be really, really, really good. Um, I've used this for like eight to 10 hours straight without having to charge it. Um, the box, the, uh, now don't quote me on this, but I believe that battery life for this is supposed to be 14 or 16 hours, but um, I, I've gotten very great battery life out of it. And before we jump into the sound, let me tell you guys why I want to explicitly talk about the sound because I couldn't find any YouTube videos where they talked about the sound. All they would do was hook it up and play it. And for me, um, that doesn't work for me. Like, I, I want you to give a detailed explanation of how the speaker sounds. And let me explain why. So for those of you who have not watched my channel before, I started DJing at the age of 13. So I've been around tons of different um, live event type of speaker systems. And I've also been having engineering since for like 20 years, engineering and producing. So um, I've been in and out of different studios. I've been around all the different live reinforcement setups, the studio monitor setups. I've been around them all. Um, the custom made ones, um, Genelic, Yamaha, Yamaha NS10s, um, JBL, um, KRK, so you name it, I've been around it, I've listened to them all. So I have a very high expectation in terms of sound when it comes to the sound image that a speaker can represent. The first thing I can say is the Sony does sound good. The highs aren't as crisp as I would like them to be, but but they're perfect. Like for me, like in personal use, the highs are right where they need to be. They aren't for like critical listening, but they are at a very good level. The mid-tones are great. I, I will give them that. The mid-tones sound phenomenal. Uh, when it comes to the bass, the mid to high bass is where this thing shines at. Like the mid to high bass really, really, it really cuts through. Now the low bass, and for those of you who know your frequencies, like 200 hertz and below, nah. And I don't want to say it's, it, it's an absolute nah, but like those frequencies really aren't like punching you in your back. Just, you know what I mean? But they're not really like hitting like that. You don't, you don't feel them in your chest. Um, and they are there. So what I plan on doing is, is uh, getting a JBL and seeing what a JBL sounds. Now, we, now when you um, play these in the store, when you demo these in the store, you really can't tell how the bass sounds. And that's why I was like, ooh, I really don't know, but let me just get one. Cause I do want to use these for video shoots I'm going to be doing and just other different applications where I might want to use this. Now, if you're going to use this outside, I would recommend, especially if you're going to have a lot of people, I would recommend purchasing two to four of these. Um, one just isn't, um, the sound image isn't wide enough just for one. And that's another thing too, the image when it comes to left and right balance, um, when you lay it on the side, it's a little bit better especially once you're close, but when it's standing upright, yeah, it's really hard to tell. So I, I would recommend purchasing two. Um, and in terms of, so we can wrap this up, in terms of how I think this sounds, if you're going to use it indoors, I would give it a an eight out of 10, because I think it could be just a little bit better when it comes to, to the low end. And I don't know if it's because of the woofer size, but we've seen what bows can do. Um, bows can really give you some less down and bass with small woofers. Um, I would say if you're gonna use it in a car or outdoors, like any anything other than indoors, I would give it a six out of 10 because the bass really starts to hollow out at that point. Even inside of a vehicle, the bass hollows out and um, it just doesn't hit hard enough. Like I don't know what the wattage is. I try to figure out what the output wattage is. I can't find it. Um, the decibels kind of hit hard a little bit. I mean, it, it can reach over 90 decibels inside of a car, inside of a house. I, like it hits right at 90, but it, that depends on the size of the room you're in too. So if you're in a small room, it's definitely going to slam. It's, 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 it's going to smack in a small room. But larger spaces, it kind of suffers some. Um, I was hoping maybe I could rent this out sometimes to, to clients who might want to use it at an event. And you know, I don't want to bring my, my main system there, but um, yeah, the XP90, it's okay. Uh, overall, I, I would rate it a seven out of 10, but once again, um, inside of, a, a, a room uh, 
8 out of 10, inside of the car, 6 out of 10, outside, 6 out of 10. Um, Bluetooth range is great. Um, other than that, um, the bass boost doesn't really sound like it does much. It does have an EQ, and the EQ works really well. But that's all I really have to say. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.